Hey everybody, it's Ben and Beta here, and today I'm going to do about a month and a half, two month update on my initial review of the EcoFlow River 2 Max battery system and solar panel. It's a 160 watt panel. You can check out my original review in this link up above. So the River 2 Max, have I been using this thing? Do I think it's still worth it? The short answer is, yeah, I definitely think it's still worth it. I didn't even make you wait till the end for that. I've been using this every day to charge my general devices. So like my iPad, my phone, computer, all of my cameras, all that kind of stuff that I've used for overlanding or for making these videos, I pretty much charge all of that stuff with this battery system. And I charge the battery system a couple times a week using the solar panel. And it's worked fantastic. Has it made an impact on my bill yet? That's actually gonna be a little bit hard to show. I'm gonna talk through that in a minute, but one of the problems is since I purchased this battery, I've basically had people at my house the entire time. So that means more people using electricity, using the water heater, all that kind of stuff. So we may have to wait a little bit to see like what kind of impact this actually has on my bill, but I will try to show that here in a little bit to see if there is any difference that is discernible. One area where I think I can actually see a difference in my bill is when you look at these things monthly. And remember that I got this at the end of September this year. So what I want to concentrate on here is last year, we had an average daily high of 81 with a low of 28 in October. And this year, 71 and 49. I didn't really run the air much at all or the heat much in October either of these years. So they should be fairly close. But one thing you can see here is last year I used about 395 kilowatts of power overall for the month. And during that month, my wife was here a couple of these days, but only like maybe five or six of those days. In October though of 2023, I had people here pretty much the entire month. I either had one person or two people here for all but like four days of the month. I was able to make a difference in my, my bill year over year for a month. Now we'll see if that holds up. I don't know if that's gonna be a good trend or not. It's kind of hard to compare weeks or days because of temperature variabilities. Basically what I'll do is compare months one year prior and see how things go for the next several months. And I'll do updates maybe once a month or every two months just to see if it's making a difference in my power bill or not. Beyond just using this at home, I've used this several times when we've been overlanding or scouting campsites or when I've been out shooting drone footage as well. This has been awesome for that. When I first purchased my drone, I did not have any kind of extended battery packs. I just had one pack, so I would shoot some footage. I'd plug this back in in the car, which I'd put behind my seats. It would charge it up by the time I got to the next spot that I wanted to shoot video on. That was awesome. This also allows me to, to charge up all my other devices, whether it's cameras or phones, and I've had no issues with that whatsoever. So this has been great. It's been super durable. I've had absolutely zero issues with it. The app still works perfectly. I highly recommend this. As far as charging this with the solar, that's worked really well. Also, the cable I bought was very helpful. That 15 footer makes a big difference beyond what I think sometimes, some people have been getting cables apparently and some people haven't. I still recommend that cable. There are even longer ones, but the 15 one's been perfect for me. I've mostly just been setting my panel outside my house and that's worked great, just leaning it up against the wall. I've used the included stand a couple times and that's worked too, but for the most part, just setting up against the house has been great. I've even gotten up to about 143 watts, even when it was really cold. So I did a cold day test and everything worked great. I think it might even work better in the cold, but we'll test that a little bit later in the winter when it's cold every day. So charging using solar, perfectly fine. The only issues I've had at all are with the solar panels and it's pretty minor. The grommets that you use for the stand, I've used those to kind of connect a lock to them to make sure nobody walks off with my solar panel. And while I've been really careful about not bending or doing anything kind of weird with that grommet, um, it's sort of coming out or coming apart a little bit. So that could be a longevity thing, but the panels themselves have not been damaged. They work just fine. It's just kind of the edge, not too big of a deal. I'm excited to see exactly how well this works over time. Anyway, that's the update for the River 2 Max. Works great, I would recommend it for anybody. And definitely keep looking for those deals. This is around Black Friday at this point, so there's a ton of deals in and around these products. I've got links in the description, go ahead and click those. And you should probably find a pretty good deal this time of year for Black Friday. So that's the review for this. Thank you so much for watching, really appreciate it. If you like this, please hit that subscribe button, 
Like this video, share it with somebody else. Remember to live your life in beta, and we'll see you next time.